Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm finally making a video here. I know it's been a couple months, but I finally fi just thought of a way to do it. I don't know why I never thought of this before, but I hooked up my old school desktop computer that was in the closet, and I hooked up some of my DJ equipment so I can use the microphone into this computer. There's something messed up with my laptop that I can't record like sound into it the speakers work but the internal microphone doesn't work and when you plug a microphone into the jack it won't recognize it i don't know what's wrong with it so here i am i'm finally hopefully i could get back into the swing of stuff because i have a ton and a ton of blog posts that i've been posting with lots of good information you know and i mean there's a lot of stuff that connects to my own personal life and I've talked about, I talk about this all the time, you know, since I've learned Gematria, I've noticed how there's a lot of things that are connected to your own life that are connected to stories in the media. And I mean, whatever people, I don't even care if people think that I'm crazy, this or that. It is the things that I've been showing, tons of stuff that I am talking about that, that nobody else would ever think of are... Things that involve that are happening in the media. And if you go clear back and watch when I predicted the Cubs and the Indians in the World Series, I was talking about how it was connected to my own life. There was a big Native American theme that I noticed in the media, and it seemed to be connected to the area I lived in. We had the Dakota Access Pipeline stuff that I live pretty close to. You know, I talked about the, the Omaha Indians and the death of Prince and how it connected to is the yellow cloud guitar and chief yellow smoke is the last keeper of the sacred pole of the Omaha Indians who the town that I live in murdered in the year 1868, just tons of stuff. And you know, it all led up to that. And on game seven of the world series, there was a story in Des Moines, Iowa about two police officers getting murdered. And it was right next to where I used to work when I lived in Des Moines. And right across the street from where I worked was the 1908 drought bar. And then, of course, the Cubs hadn't won since 1908. They had a drought of 108 years. And remember, it started raining. And, and then the Cubs won the World Series, ending the drought after it started raining. I mean, what are the odds of that? I worked at Burger King that in Gematria equals 112. It was the 112th World Series. It came to an end on November 2nd, a lot like 112. Then, in regards to the Super Bowl and whatnot, and there's been other things that I've been talking about that's not just sports, you know, but in regards to the Super Bowl, I was talking about how there was a connection to my uncle who died two weeks later after I started talking about him in a car wreck or whatever, but... He gave me this Miami Dolphins jersey. I was talking about how it was like flipper and flipping the script. And I showed, I have tons, I have a bunch of videos and they're really long and I'm sorry on this, but you know, everything about my uncle was 166. Barney Murphy equals 166. His wife is Betty and you know, Betty and Barty, like the Flintstones, the Flintstones aired 166 episodes. I found out that he gave me this jersey because he just put it on my porch and I didn't know who gave it to me. I found out at a place called the gold slipper that equals 166 in Gematria. The Flintstones are even based off of a TV show called the honeymooners. If you just write out honeymooners in Gematria, it equals 166. I randomly asked my mom when she was working at the gold slipper, what, my uncle's birthday was because I was curious in regards to all of this research that I've been doing. It just so happened to be 166 days after his birthday. It was this huge number that I kept talking about over and over and over, you know. And along with it, I was talking about how there seemed to be flipping the script was part of the script in regards to the Super Bowl and whatnot. And then I type in reverse gematria because that is flipping the script and all of a sudden... There was all these revelations in regards to reverse gematria. And, you know, for me, I've been doing gematria long enough. I can see the overlap and I, I have a better understanding and I see how it all makes sense. And for someone new, I can totally understand how it just all seems 
like craziness because there's a lot going on. You need to start small and then eventually build up to understand more of the overlap and understand more of how this all works. And you know, I don't even know how it all works for sure, but I have a I have a better understanding than most people you try to tell. Or, you know, I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying that I've been doing it for so long that I can see certain things that other people might not completely understand. And that, that kind of leads you to a standstill as well. You're trying to further this knowledge and show people this in videos and your blog, but if people don't understand the basics of it, how can we get them to get a better understanding of it with when it gets more complex, you know? So I don't know. It's hard for me. I can't make very simple videos anymore just because I've been doing it for so long. And my videos were already super complex and super long before I even learned other, you know, reverse gematria. So now I was, that was part of the reason why I like didn't want to make videos for a while because I was trying to think about, you know, to clear my mind and figure out how I can portray this information to people without getting them just completely lost and confused. And honestly, I don't have a clue how to do that. People just have to see it and they have to go back and watch some of the more simple videos that I, you know, that I've, I talk about a lot of times. You have to watch the previous videos to understand where I'm going with a lot of this stuff because ever since the beginning of making videos and doing this research, whatever, you know, talking about it at least, trying to figure out the, what the truth is, it's every single day is a build off of the next, you know, and some people just don't understand that. They come into it and they don't get it because they won't take the time to go back and review the old stuff. So anyway, I just find that it's very interesting that when you type in reverse gematria, it equals 166, this number that I kept talking about in regards to how it was connected to my life, connected to flipping the script. And if you don't think that they've been doing that, there's been all kinds of reverse stories in the media. There was that escalator that all of a sudden went in reverse, if you remember that. Then they're always talking about Trump reversing his ideas and you know now he's not friends with russia and he's reversed and he's more with china and everything else there's reverse stories in the media a whole lot of times i've seen a whole bunch of them ever since reverse gematria you know there was revelations in it so it just makes me wonder is is this the the freemasons and whatever else are they controlling this and are they leading us down a path by you know allowing us to understand this that reverse gematria is being used or is this by something greater you know is this by by something good that is trying to help us by by god or you know by something else and i've been getting a lot of stuff in regards to the the angel gabriel and I have just a ton of posts on it. I'm not going to go back into it. But there's a lot of very interesting things in regards to the angel Gabriel, which seem to be showing me something. I don't exactly understand the full meaning of it, but it's definitely showing me something. And eventually, it's going to make a lot more sense. But it just makes me wonder in regards to this, you know, it's connected to everything I'm talking about. And it just weirded me out enough to where I wanted to take a step back and just think about it. It's like maybe maybe all of these stories in the news are real and it's not the Freemasons, right? And it's not the Zionists, it's not it's not the Zionist Jews. But then when you when you start thinking of that, then you start thinking why do they have obvious fake stories in the news? Another thing in regards to fake stories in the news, there's always there's YouTube channels on here that always have these amazing like footage of of a hoax. And it's like, where in the world did they even get this footage? You can't find it anywhere on the news. They got like they find some random person with a camera and then they're showing that it's fake, almost as if we're supposed to know that it's fake. 
You know, they want people to know that it's fake. It seems like there's an agenda to wake people up to a certain extent. That's why we have a president who says that the, the New World Order exists or whatever, you know. And he agrees with Alex Jones. And he says that the media is a bunch of liars and everything else. So, you know, I started thinking, maybe this truly is just all, there's, there is a universal code that I've been talking about. It's run by God and it has nothing to do with, with bad people. It's just all a script that we all are living in, you know, we're all living in this matrix and whatever else. But I've had like death threats. I've had letters in the mail, you know, I I don't know. It's just very odd stuff. And I noticed that I kept getting these comments from this person named James Jumper on my blog. And they'd write stuff like Dan E. Barrett equals, or Dan E. Barrett queer equals 166. Gematria is bogus equals 166. And for one, that's not even what I do anyway. I'm not just making up phrases and then saying that this equals this. You know, you, you might take like a media headline and you take their name out of it, and maybe their name equals 50, and then you notice that they died 50 days after their birthday, and they were famous for being on 50 Shades of Grey, or, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I'm not just making up a phrase saying, like, like uh, Donald Trump is a bad president, and then whatever that equals, that must mean something something, you know? So, basically what I'm getting out of this is that this person... I further went on to discover that they have a whole blog dedicated to discrediting my blog. And, you know, if you read through some of these things, they leave out details that don't make what I'm talking about make as much sense. And it looks like I am crazy because they're leaving out details of what I'm talking about. For example, the other day, I was talking about how just all this weird stuff was happening to me. I just made this post in regards to my uncle Eddie Murphy. And I talked about my uncle Eddie Murphy because he was in, he won some trip to the bunny ranch and he was in hustler magazine in April, 2011. I talked about him and his name's Eddie Murphy. And then what? Two weeks later, three weeks later, Charlie Murphy dies, Eddie Murphy's brother. But anyway, I posted about my Uncle Eddie, and I mentioned how this number 53 seemed to be super connected to my mom's side of the family, the side that my uncle, who died before the Super Bowl, is on and whatnot. And I make this big post, talk about the number 53 a whole bunch. I take a shower, and I have to go to work, and I look at the TV, and I notice that on channel 116, this TV show called The Chase is on. And I looked up, and I was like, I know that girl from somewhere. And she came from my Jeopardy post. And this person supposedly says that they were just tired of my Jeopardy posts and blah, blah, blah. And that's why they started this blog and everything else. And you know what else? Check out this person. Check out this person really quick. Look what their name is in Gematria. They come along before I start talking about flipping the script. And I, before I even start talking about this number, their name equals 166 in reverse gematria. This tells me there's a definite agenda of people who are out there trying to discredit what I'm saying. They're coding it by the numbers. It's funny too, just before this person started making this blog, I was talking about a JJ theme. There seemed to be something in regards to JJ, 10, 10, and Revelation equals 10, 10. And this person never addressed this post whatsoever, that their name equals 166, and it's the 166 that they make fun of me a whole lot about in this blog. I mean, and the thing is, in regards to this Jeopardy, it was all about the number 53. I just talked about 53 in regards to my own life. Then this girl's on, The Chase, and this was one of the girls that lost to Cindy Stowell on Jeopardy. And she just randomly is on TV at 3.53 when I took the picture even. And Cindy Stowell even beat this girl by whatever it was. I know I talked about it in my old post, but she came back and won with $23,801. And 
And in numerology, you don't use the zero. So 2381, 2381, the 353rd prime number. You know, just interesting that I take this picture at 353. And look at all the 53s in regards to this. So this girl, her name was Julia. Julia equals 53. Cindy Stowell equals 53. Died on a date numerology of 53. She lost on Jeopardy 16 days after her death. That episode aired 16 days after she died. And the 16th prime is 53. She lost to a guy. Sam Scoville, his name equals 53. Her brother's name, Greg Stowell, equals 53. His wife, they had an, a news article on with his wife on it, Juliana Stowell equals 53. And even in the little the corner of the news article, it said it was 53 degrees when they interviewed her. There was a ton of 53 in the story. And the thing that this person leaves out in regards to it is they say, well, just because your family equals 53, what does that have to do with Jeopardy? Why are you making stuff up? No, I'm not making stuff up. I just talked about my family and the number 53, and then I take a shower and I come out and I see this girl on TV at 353, all the stuff I'm talking about, and of course, it was super connected to 53, what I was just talking about. That's why it's connected, and when you leave that piece of information out, it doesn't make sense. And I mean, why is someone... and I mean, why is someone, why is there someone dedicated to discrediting me? Like, seriously, who am I? I'm a person that has 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. I've been making, you know, good informational videos for over three years now, and I still have 2,000 subscribers. It just doesn't really make that much sense, unless more people are seeing what I'm showing than what the YouTube actually says that I have, or... Or who knows? I mean, what is the purpose? Why Why is someone so worried about what I'm talking about when only 2,000 people subscribe to me and probably 1,000 of them are just fake accounts anyway, you know? And that's another thing. On YouTube, uh, my, I had over 1,000 YouTube videos at one time. Now I have like 900 and some. So some of my videos are even getting deleted. So obviously... I'm doing something that somebody, you know, a group of people definitely don't want people to try to understand. They don't want people to gain more knowledge. And, you know, take take what you want from it. I don't have all the answers. I make these videos, I make these blog posts, trying to get a better understanding. Like, I'm, like I said earlier in the video, it's just a build off of what I've learned and you try to continually learn every single day. This person also is always always saying that everything that I talk about is always after the fact, which is not even close to the case as well. Yes, I get some things wrong. I don't like making all-out predictions because I'm still learning. It's still a process. I don't have all of the pieces of how it all works together. Reverse gematria is exactly one of the pieces. If we would have understood reverse gematria before the Super Bowl, it would have all made sense because Atlanta Falcons equals 119, just like Family Guy in the Simpsons episode, the town was 119 days before the Super Bowl. All of the Simpsons Family Guy stuff I was talking about in regards to it, it all makes sense if you understood reverse gematria. You know, maybe there's another piece that we're going to learn in the future, and that's going to help us understand even more. So you don't always get things right, and that's why I don't like making predictions. I'm still trying to piece it together and figure out how it works every single time, when a certain thing is used, when a certain thing isn't used, and I don't know. That's why you document as much as you possibly can, and then you can come back and look at it and try to figure it out. But as far as not predicting anything, I predicted a whole lot of things, to tell you the truth. I, I predicted the Royals to win the World Series in 2015. Earlier that year, in 2015, I even said the Gold State Warriors were in the NBA Finals, and it was connected to Valentine's Day. I didn't understand exactly how, but Golden State in Gematria equals 122, and they won the NBA Finals 122 days after Valentine's Day. I mean, there's just numerous times that I've I've mentioned something that 
there's no reason that anyone would even talk about it. Like Eugene Cernan, he died in January this year. In November, I was talking about how there was a space theme, and I talked about Eugene Cernan and Neil Armstrong because they were the 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 last guy to walk on the moon and the first guy to walk on the moon, the first and the last. Then, like a week later, we got a story of Buzz Aldrin being in the hospital and John Glenn being in the hospital. Then John Glenn died. Then a month later, Eugene Cernan died. I mean, who else was talking about Eugene Cernan in the world? You know, I, I documented on my blog that he dies. I talk about my uncle. He dies two weeks later. I talked about him in regards to the key of David and Colin Kaepernick and Francis Scott Key. It sounds a lot like Francis Got Key, like the key of David. Jesus was supposed to have the key of David. The very next day, we got the death of the former Atlanta Falcon, Keon Carpenter. Jesus, the carpenter, key on carpenter. I mean, just so many examples. I talked about fat comedians because of the movie Uncle Buck was on. And I decided to look up John Candy and I noticed that he had some connections to Chris Farley and they're both fat. And I looked up other fat comedians. They were all connected to the same numbers. I believe it was 124. A month later, we got the death of a fat comedian, Kevin Meany, who was Uncle Buck in the TV show. And he died by the same numbers as John Candy, Chris Farley, John Belushi, Sam Kennison. I talked about the movie Field of Dreams. And even in regards to W.P. Kinsella, then W.P. Kinsella died not even a month later. I talked about an earthquake and how earthquakes are connected by the numbers. And not even 12 hours later, there was an earthquake that was in Oklahoma. And it even shook in Iowa where I live. And my whole life, there's never been an earthquake that shook in Iowa that anybody has felt. So, I mean, I guess I could sit here and just keep listing stuff. But I wanted to make this video short because I really want to start doing some of these other posts that I've talked about. But I just wanted to show that it, there truly is an agenda of people trying to discredit the things that I am saying. And I think that I, I say that it's bigger. And because I really, truly think that it is connected to God or the universe or a, a mixture. Maybe all of that is all, you know, interrelated. But there's definitely people who at least understand this system and they don't want other people to know about it. Or, you know, or they are the ones creating a lot of this, you know. I think, I think it's both there, too. I think they create things. And I think they also know about this knowledge and they just use it to their advantage. They don't want the average person to know how this works and they don't want more people to understand it. I also think a big part of what they don't want people to know is that you can take everyone must, I think everybody has their own, their own journey, their own, their own way to read this stuff and if you pay attention to the media and you compare it to the signs and symbols that you're getting in your everyday life, and I assume that other people get these, you know, I get signs, there are signs and symbols in my everyday life that don't involve gematria. There's just weird things, you know, like a while back there was a ring theme. We were driving in the car and someone brought up something to do with angels and I said, isn't it funny how all like angel right and i talked about a lot of the angels end in el and saturn is actually l and whatnot and he's the lord of the rings and then whatever there was a big ring theme later that night we even watched the movie the new movie called rings where the girl comes back in seven days after they watched the movie then i watched this movie called arrival about aliens coming to earth and they want to teach the humans a secret their language or whatever that involves rings and if you can if they understand this language they get a, a different concept of time and Saturn is the keeper of time you know Saturn and the rings and there was a whole bunch more of that movie they even mentioned the number 144 on the news in that movie time equals 144 but just just saying there was a ring theme and I, I don't know the full meaning of it but these patterns exist and you know sometimes you could figure it out and you could figure out 
what it means and what it's connected to right away. Other times, you don't see it until later. Just like the reverse Gematria stuff, you know? So, I don't know what else I wanted to say in this video. I just wanted to kind of make a comeback video. I wanted to explain... I never even explained why I can't use my laptop, you know? I, I did take the break because I just... You know, I needed a little bit of a break and whatever else. But one day, so I took this break, and one day I came home, and the charger on my laptop looked like it was cut at the very top. And who knows if it's just old, whatever, it finally got worn down, but the wires were sticking out at the very top, and it looked like it somehow got sliced a little bit. And I was like, well, what, what do I do? I don't want to go to Walmart and buy a $50 charger. So I ordered one online. I had to wait, I don't even know what it was, three or four days. I got my charger, and when I got the charger back, I charged the laptop up, and I made like an hour-long video. <laughs> and literally, you have to, I have to make them in 15-minute segments and then put them all together. And I make this hour-long video what, explaining a little bit of what I was talking about in this video and a whole lot more in detail. And as I'm putting them all together I listen to it and it's just crackling like crazy and I'm like what what in the world so my laptop charger gets broke and then now there's something wrong with the microphone and when I pick up my computer it like would make a popping noise like I don't know what it is and the mouse when you it's really annoying but when you click like I don't even know how to explain it if you click up here then all of a sudden the mouse shoots down here and clicks. So you got to like click it just right. It's just a mess. But that's why I haven't made videos for a long time because I've had really no way to make videos until I just thought about hooking up this old school computer. So hopefully I will start putting out more videos. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to I want to make a couple short videos today because I just think there's some pretty funny stories that have been going in the media that I've learned from the old ladies at work and whatnot. So, but yeah, peace. See you in the next video.